So carrying on with queries, on the right hand side you've got, if this is a patrol summary query, on the right hand side you've got your group by options. All these options under this category here, from the patrol, date, area and data model attributes, all of these can be added to the group by box at the bottom here. Either into the row headers or into the column headers. If you want it in the column headers, you click and drag it from the left to the right or vice versa. Depending on what you do is the type of results you're going to get to show in the query above. So at the bottom here you've got the X value options. These are any potential value options that you would like to represent in your summary. So your patrol values and then any of your data model values. At the same time you can choose either the incidents or the observations. The observations and the incidents differ slightly. The, incident, the observations are the actual recordings of each single attribute whereas the incident is the recording of the actual waypoint. And right next to the group by and value options you've got this filter tab. If you click this filter tab you'll see that you've got filters that come up on the right hand side. You can put a filter on based on patrols, specific ranks or agencies for example, on specific data model filters, or if you have shapefiles based on management sectors etc. So show me all the snares that were collected in 2018 in the month in the specific management sector, say alpha sector. You can add that here. That would then create this query and it would, and it would limit the raw data returned to you based on what you write here. The options are endless, it's just a matter of testing what works for the type of information you want to represent.